I believe I have cracked it. I've cracked the case, boys. I know what every single WWE 2K24 showcase mode match is going to be. And it's not that hard to guess because there's only going to be 21 matches. Uh, you know, based off an event that's had nearly 40 shows. When you want to include night one and night two, it, it even seems like more, but I'm going to get into it. But at first, we have to do a little bit of a backstory. So WWE 2K Showcase Mode, a mode that has been a mixed bag for 10 years. Sometimes it's not even in the game, you know, I'm thinking of 2K17 here. So they've had a couple of renditions. They've had the Steve Austin mode. Steve, that sounded weird. It was a showcase mode based on Steve Austin where we pretty much had that in WWE 13 with the Attitude Era mode. So we weren't really breaking into new ground. It was it was cool though with the cutscenes and probably one of the best things about showcase mode, it allows 2K and or two, well, whoever's developing the damn game to have unique attires from certain times so if you had austin and rock you'd have hollywood rock for example it's it's a cool way to you know have those characters in the game when otherwise they wouldn't be you had in 2k15 the hustle loyalty disrespect showcase mode which was probably one of my favorites the john cena cm punk feud they even had randy orton and christian in Mark Henry's Hall of Pain. That was good stuff. But 2K15, and it's, it's not really that fond upon of a video game. It was lacking a lot. 2K24. They've given us a couple of matches already announced. Just before I get into that some more, you know, I'm, th I'm thinking, you know, the showcase modes, they're very forgettable. That, that's kind of like the problem with it. I just forgot mid-sentence what I was talking about. They're forgettable. I couldn't even tell you what some of them were. I, I remember in 2K18 or 19, it was John Cena and Daniel Bryan as a trailer from their match in 03 on... 03? 2003 on Velocity. And I can't really remember much else. Oh, it was a Daniel Bryan showcase, of course. But... I, just, I don't I don't remember it. 2K20 had a woman's showcase. I didn't even play that. Like, that's some hustle, loyalty, disrespect, right? I didn't play it. But 2K20 was a pretty trash game. I just... You know, 2K... The, the problem is going on with this list that I'm going to tell you about is they're very limited on the roster. Because of AEW, because of, you know, certain events, you know, Chris Benoit... You can't have certain matches that really should be in a showcase of WrestleMania. But this is what we've got so far. We've got Hogan versus Andre the Giant from WrestleMania 3. Obviously, that'll be there. Razor Ramon versus HBK in the ladder match from WrestleMania 10. Yeah, yeah, you know, keep going. Bret Hart versus Austin from WrestleMania 13. One of the greatest WrestleMania matches of all time. Minus Mike Tyson. I doubt they're going to pay him for that. It's probably just going to be a weird-looking black guy again. Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania 25. That's probably one like legit one of the best WrestleMania matches of all time for sure. Of course, going to be on the list. And Roman versus Cody Rhodes from last year's WrestleMania, which was an awesome match until the end. It was a wet fart of an ending with Solus Kokoa, Solus Kokoa. You know, doing the damn Samoan spike, ruining the match. Ah, whatever, man. I'm not going to get into it, but. These, this is my prediction, okay? And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be pretty close to this. And I'm going to kind of mention what they might have been if there were going to be 40 matches. That's that's probably what I would have preferred. If you're going to have WrestleMania 1 to 40, just pick a match from each show. But they're like, we're not doing that. We're doing 21. Plus so for the WrestleMania 1, 21. you could have done Hogan, Mr. T versus Paul Orndorff. Orndorff. Mr. Wonderful and Roddy Piper. They're not even touching WrestleMania 1. Moving on from that, WrestleMania 2, trash show. You could do Hogan and Bundy. They ain't doing that. They're doing Hogan and Andre the Giant from WrestleMania 3. Of course, one of the biggest matches of all time. Now, WrestleMania 4, there's Ted DiBiase and Randy Savage, which 
I do think they're going to do that match because Randy Savage won his first WWF title at the time. It was a pretty big deal. WrestleMania 5, you had Hogan and Macho Man. You know, the mega powers explode. I think you're going to have that match. So that's two. Oh, technically three. And you got a couple more. You know, Warrior and Hogan from WrestleMania 6 could very likely be it. I, you know, I'm not too sure on that. We'll, we'll come back to that. The Ultimate Warrior vs. Macho Man from WrestleMania 7. Uh, no, I don't even think they're touching WrestleMania 7. They're not touching WrestleMania 7, 8, or 9. I don't... Like, WrestleMania 9, what are you going to do? You have... What, who, what the hell is his name? Yokozuna and Hulk Hogan and Brett... You know, you're not going to touch that. They don't want to do Caesar's parking lot. WrestleMania 10... Like I said before, they're going to do Razor and HBK in that famous Intercontinental Ladder match. You know, classic, of course. And then WrestleMania 11, they ain't going to do this. But you would have done HBK and Diesel. Diesel. Yeah, you're not, you're not doing that. You know, they had Lawrence Taylor versus Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> like, that ain't going to be the match. Alright, so WrestleMania 12... HBK versus Bret Hart. They've got to do this match, even though it's probably disappointing to a lot of you know fans. Probably expected more in an hour-long Iron Man match. They're probably looking back on it. Should have done at least three falls, and not even do the overtime. Just you know, one, one a piece, one a piece, and then the third one. You know, in the last two minutes. But they didn't think of it. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be in the showcase mode. All right, you got Stone Cold vs. Bret Hart. That's going to be in there already, already, already confirmed. And then WrestleMania. Oh, what was it? Fourteen. Austin and Rock. Ugh, no, no, they ain't doing that. Like they did that in the showcase of WrestleMania in 2K14, but I, I just don't see that match going there. WrestleMania 18. That'd be really cool with the stage, but I don't even think 2K's got enough time to put that much effort into a stage. I'm thinking Hogan and Rock. Uh, yeah, I'm going to lock that in. Hogan and Rock. What, you know, go back and watch the match. Those, that f crowd is crazy for that match. It's like the most over with the fans match you'll ever see in your life. The, the reactions are crazy. And then WrestleMania 19. Whoa, wait a second. I just completely skimmed over WrestleMania 17. Which you could do Austin and Rock. Every other match on the show they're not going to do due to, like, it was in 2001 and a lot of them aren't contracted with WWE anymore. Like, you'd love to do the TLC match. Ain't going to happen. What else you got? I guess you could do Undertaker and Triple H. But, you know, I think you could really only do Austin and Rock. But, like, you just seen these matches in the showcase mode before. You know, it's kind of a bit repetitive. <laughs> but going to 19, that's where I'll do Rock and Austin <laughs> again. So it's pretty much like the WrestleMania, uh, it, you know, mode in 2K14. Just do, just re we're just re rehashing the same things. Now, WrestleMania 20, I feel like they're going to skip this completely. I'd love the stage. Like, you could probably do Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle. That's the only Eddie Guerrero match you, you're going to get that's going to be a WrestleMania. So, so, like, you could do Eddie, Eddie versus Angle, or they, they could be really lazy and not have that match and do two matches from Mania 21 and have Ray versus Eddie and, you know, Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle. And then you got Cena and JBL. They ain't doing that. Batista and Triple H... They could do that. I, it's just... Yeah, I, I they're going to skip a lot of years <laughs> here. And they're going to do a lot of double ups. Because I'm going to get into that shortly. From WrestleMania 20... I think Batista and Triple H. I, 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 I'm going to go with that one. WrestleMania 20 is not going to have a match. Unless they do Eddie versus Angle. Which I'm wrong. Uh, WrestleMania 23... Pretty sure it's going to be Batista versus The Undertaker. All right, I'm pretty sure they're going to do that match. 24, they're going to do Cena, Orton, and Triple H. Because they ain't doing Edge and Undertaker. 
I could, I could see them doing that match. Even though the match was pretty disappointing. 25, they're going to do Taker and HBK. Obviously, that's already mentioned. And then WrestleMania 26, you could do Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels again. I just, I don't think there's enough room for it. But y you can. Uh, WrestleMania 27, goodness gracious. <laughs> the only good one there is... Oh, my God. I was thinking you could do Randy versus CM Punk just to get CM Punk in this mode, but Punk's going to be DLC. So you'd have to go with Triple H and... Oh, what are you going to do? Yeah, Triple H and The Undertaker 27, but then you have WrestleMania 28, the Hell in a Cell end of an era <laughs> match that wasn't end of an era. It's That's like the tricky part of this, is if you just picked one match, it would be a lot better. But you have to pick 21. So, they'll probably do Cena versus Rock. They're not going to do Triple H and Undertaker. They're going to go with Cena and Rock. And then 29, they're going to do Cena and Rock again. And then nothing at 30, unless they do Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker at the streak, which you kind of have to do based on... It was one of the craziest moments in wrestling, The Undertaker's streak ending. I'm, I'm going to lock that in, actually. We're going to do Brock and Taker. 31... I was thinking they were going to do the Seth cash in because they they want to put Seth in here somewhere. You know, they push the guy like crazy. I think they actually will do that. They're going to do Brock versus Roman and then Seth comes in, cashes in the showcase mode just like the end of WrestleMania 31. WrestleMania 32, I really hope they don't do this one. Roman versus Triple H for the WWE title in 2016. No, thank you. Just don't do it. I don't think they will. 33 now. I think they're going to skip because you could do Roman and Taker. That much sucked. But it, Taker retired, but he didn't retire. So, WrestleMania 34, fucking skip this one. <laughs> like, you have Roman and Brock. I, like, I hate that WrestleMania. It was so long. WrestleMania 35, hate this one as well. You're probably going to do Seth versus Brock. I'm, I'm pretty confident with that one. And then Mania 36, I don't even think they're going to touch this one unless they want to do Drew versus Brock, but it was a two-minute match. They ain't, do <laughs> ain't doing that. And they're doing Big Show versus Drew either. They're going to do Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte from WrestleMania 36. I, I think it's going to be the first woman inclusion in the showcase mode, and there's more to come. And then WrestleMania 37, you're going to have Rhea Ripley versus Oscar. Pretty, I'm pretty sure with that one. WrestleMania 38, Roman versus Brock. They're doing that one. It, for the freaking title, there's no way that's not not the match. Oh, like It has to be. Like Brock was the WWE champion. Roman's the universal champion. They combined the belts. You know, huge match. 39. I guarantee there's going to be like five matches from WrestleMania 39. You're going to have the Usos... Versus Sammy and Owens as one. You're going to have Belair versus Oscar for the women's champion. Oh, oh, wait, these are both women's championship matches. And then you're going to have Rhea versus Charlotte Flair again. And then, of course, they've already announced Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. So you got four right there. And maybe for a bonus thing, I don't know what they're going to... Maybe they'll make Roman... The, the showcase mode thing that ended like John Cena was in 2K23. I, I, I'd say that's something along those lines. That you have Roman fighting legends of some sort. That Pretty much the same thing as they did in 23. So now it's part of the video where I actually say in order what the matches are going to be in the 2K24 showcase mode. And a couple have already been confirmed, like I said before. Five of them, in fact. So, going in order from WrestleMania, you know, like it's not going to be WrestleMania 1, but just for example, WrestleMania 1 to WrestleMania 39, we're going to do Hogan and Andre, already confirmed. Macho Man versus Ted DiBiase. You know, they had that tournament at WrestleMania 4, I'm pretty sure. 
this match is going to be in there. Like, the, I think they really want a couple from the first 10 years. And there's, you know, there was some absolute crap ones <laughs> there. But I, I feel like Macho and Ted, and that pretty much set up the Mega Powers. Going into WrestleMania 5, you're going to have Hulk Hogan versus Macho Man. WrestleMania 10, Razor Ramon versus HBK in the ladder match, already confirmed. Bret Hart versus Stone Cold, you know, minus Tyson, like I said before. Stone Cold versus HBK at WrestleMania 14. I feel like you have to do this one because this is where Stone Cold won his first WWF title. And it was a big freaking deal. Uh, Hogan and Rock from WrestleMania 18, because I think they're going to skip over WrestleMania 2000 completely. WrestleMania ooh, 17, they might do Austin and Rock there. I just, you know, I, don't, I just don't think you need it multiple times. All right, so WrestleMania 19, I'll do Austin and Rock. Just, you know, just to have the Hollywood Rock selfishly. Cena versus Triple H at WrestleMania 22. I didn't even really mention this one before. I have a feeling that's going to happen. They already have the WrestleMania 22 stage from last year. They can just recycle that because they ain't doing Ray, Kurt, and Randy Orton for the world title. That'd be cool because then you'd have Randy Orton burn in the light theme song, but not happening because they already confirmed Ray's 22 attire is going to be DLC. So, nope. Batista and The Undertaker from WrestleMania 23 absolutely stole the show. Should have main evented. I, I feel like you got to put that there. WrestleMania 24, I wouldn't even include this, but I have a feeling they will. John Cena, Randy Orton, Triple H. It's like the only time you can really put Triple uh, Randy Orton in this showcase mode and you got to include him I was thinking somewhere you could include Bray Wyatt as a tribute but his matches <laughs> suck like year two with Randy Orton and were trash like I think that'd be pretty insulting to put him in there Undertaker for Shawn Michaels WrestleMania 25 you know, already confirmed one of the best ever you know of course Cena versus The Rock at WrestleMania 28 you know, once in a lifetime, turn into twice in a lifetime. I think they're going to do 29 as well with Cena and Rock. And then we're going to skip a couple years because there's a lot of Daniel Bryan here. that They're not even going to touch WrestleMania 30, you know, because of Daniel Bryan. And the other WrestleMania is, you know, I don't want to touch them <laughs> either. But we're going to skip all the way to Seth Rollins versus... Oh my goodness, I'm making a correction mid-list. WrestleMania 34, it's going to be Charlotte and Oscar in the showcase mode. I like I completely forgot about that. We're going to scratch Cena and Rock 2 because I don't think they want to work on that state. We're, we're scratching it mid-list, mid-ranking. It's not even a ranking, what am I saying? <laughs> it's that we're getting rid of Cena and Rock from WrestleMania 29. We're putting in Oscar and Charlotte from WrestleMania 34. You know, got to include more women in here some way. You got Seth and Brock Lesnar from WrestleMania 35. This match was really nothing, but I think they want to include that as well. You know, you have Seth Rollins sort of in a match. Because I, I said it earlier, I was thinking they were going to do WrestleMania 31. I don't think they're going to do that. <laughs> I've corrected it myself. Like with the cash in... You know, the showcase modes have been pretty light. I don't think they're going to do that. Like, especially with the commentary with Michael Cole in the show, Heist of the Century. Like, if they're not going to include that, I, I don't even see why bother. Because in the last two showcase modes, that hasn't even been commentary. It's been really weird. And no entrances either. Okay, so we're going to move to WrestleMania at 37. It's going to be Rhea Ripley versus Oscar. Definitely. And then Roman versus Brock Lesnar. From WrestleMania 38, and we're so sick to death of Roman versus Brock Lesnar, and this match under delivered and over promised. It was supposed to be, you know, the greatest match of all time. They were saying it was for the WWE and Universal Championship, and now it's combined. And Roman's held that belt hostage, you know, ever since. So I'm pretty sure you're going to include that. And they only they had the arena in last year's game too, so pretty easy for 2K to do. And this is the bit which might get a little controversial, but I'm pretty sure they're going to include four matches from last year's WrestleMania. WrestleMania 39, Usos versus KO and Sammy. You know, they built that story up for so long. Rhea versus Charlotte was a pretty good match. 
you know, it, it makes it tricky with the women because you can't include any of the Sasha Banks matches. <laughs> you know, it, like the first, like from WrestleMania 32, you could easily include that, but Sasha's not going to be in the game, so you can't. What do you got? We got Rhea vs. Charlotte and Bel Belonka. <laughs> I always do that. Belair, I'm just going to say that. Versus Oscar. That was a great match. And the main event was Roman versus Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 39, which is already confirmed. So those are the 21 matches. I did kind of do the list a bit weird. It was probably a bit hard to follow. You know, bless you if you did. I'll put it in the comments. No, I'm not going to put it in the comments. I'll put it in the description really far below <laughs> if you want to see the list in the actual order that makes sense instead of my weird speaking over it. But that's this is just my thoughts for the 2K24 showcase mode. I really hope it's good. I really hope they put more effort into it. I did like 2K18. I, one, uh, I don't even think I finished it. <laughs> I think I might have just done it in... 20 minutes maybe I'm not, I'm not too sure but graphically it looked really good and the cutscenes were amazing in that game in 2k15 the cutscenes were really good and 2k22 i don't really know if i liked the Rey mysterio one it, it, you know like there was like some random matches on raw that he had from 2019 on there i really hope they don't do that with this list like they have to do wrestlemania matches i'm just i'm just hoping they don't screw us here but I, I am really excited for the game. I'm excited for the Royal Rumble. You know, leave a comment if uh, you think my list is going to be wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm about 87% correct. Okay? And if you don't like that, get Finley over here and I'll, I'll teach him something else. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like it, and I'll see you in the next one.